Edition of Urban Politicians TV. Uh, had to come tap in on motherfucking Floyd Mayweather, man. Taking his first L. Tough, dog. Looking tough, man. Nigga got his ass crossed up. Fucking around on that N1 basketball court. I don't know why. I don't know what would make a nigga. See, this is what happens when you don't stay in your lane, bro. You know what I'm saying? Understand, Floyd Mayweather is the greatest boxer ever. I want to say that, get that out the way. You know what I'm saying? Much, much respect for Floyd Mayweather's success in the sport that he loved to do. But this will happen when you don't stay in your lane, my nigga. It can end very bad for you, dog. And that's exactly what happened to Floyd here, nigga. You took your first motherfucking L, your first knockdown. You were sliding across the float. Like what the nigga Blue Flay say, lead him, lead uh, Move the motherfucking wet. <laughs> move the motherfucking wet flow sign to catch a nigga slipping. I have the fuck Blue Flay say that crazy ass shit. Caught that nigga slipping. That nigga was sliding across the flow. Look, Floyd, I advise you, bro. I know you retired. I know you having fun. Let me give you the best advice. If you're going to play basketball, you playing against somebody like this. I'm hearing that was Bone Collector. I don't know for sure. I couldn't really tell from the video. Nigga, if you playing niggas who you know got dribbles, play fake defense, my nigga. Sag off of them. Let them make, them make, make a nigga. Make him show you he got a shot. Make him show you that he can shoot. Because you got to play lazy nigga defense against a nigga that cross like that. Now, you ain't pursuing no basketball career, so don't be trying to get all up on a nigga like that and play defense. They're going to make you look foolish. Just how you look today. You got to own it. Uh, it happens to the best of us. Uh, then again, no, it don't, nigga. I ain't never got crossed like that. I didn't been crossed before by niggas, but not like that. That shit don't happen to the best of us. I ain't going to lie. That shit fucked up. But uh, shout out to Floyd Mayweather, man. Uh, you took your first L, dog. I'm going to hand this motherfucker to you gracefully. You know what I'm saying? Open your hands up. Let me hand you this motherfucking L. It happens, dog. You still living your life. You still rich. You still balling all that other shit. Ain't nobody hate. We just keeping it real, nigga. You took your L finally, nigga. You're 50 and 1 now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, I wanted to get into the other video, too, dog, that I had on Floyd, man. You know, the situation that happened at Girl Collection, bro. And respond to some of y'all, cook. I never came back and made another video on it. I put it out there. I said what I said in the video. You know, so I'm going to have a link in the description if you want to go watch that video. Uh, I spoke on what happened at the girl collection when they fucking finessed me out of 30 motherfucking dollars, bro. I told y'all niggas what happened in the story. Like I said, a lot of people on the internet today got the biggest motherfucking problem, bro. They listen and read to respond and not to understand. I told y'all in the video exactly what happened. And the main thing I was getting from a lot of dipshits on this motherfucker YouTube. Out of the way though, even though y'all motherfuckers is dumb and crazy as hell, some of y'all little motherfuckers got potty, uh, real disrespectful little mouths and fingers, the type, you internet gangsters. Uh, I fuck with y'all because y'all watching my shit and supporting my shit regardless, man. No matter how y'all feel, at the end of the day, y'all supported a real nigga, a player nigga. Y'all watch my shit and y'all support it. And y'all liking and subscribing, no matter, you know, y'all leaving crazy ass comments, man. As long as you watching and supporting, I ain't tripping you. Now, y'all niggas do be getting a little bit disrespectful, though. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all little motherfucking crazy. But at the same time, bro, like I said, it wasn't about the money. The money was never an issue, bro. I got well over $30. Trust me, dog. Like, I got well over $30. Please believe me when I say that. It wasn't about the money. I had more. I showed y'all some little cash. That's what I had right there in that pocket. I had money in my backpack, like I said. Had money in my bank account, like I said, my nigga. I'm in my highs now. That shit happened in Las Vegas, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> bro, a nigga got to understand, bro. Like I said, I'm not that nigga that's capping like I'm this rich-ass, balling-ass nigga. 
Because I'm not, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You got levels to this shit. You got rich niggas that make, uh, that make milk multi-millions. Then you got hood rich niggas who get 100000 a year, 200000 a year out the streets. Then you got working class niggas who get 100000 a year doing real good for themselves. Then you got other niggas who money, they just know how to make the little money they got look good. You know what I'm saying? So I say this, bro. I don't, I'm the nigga, I have no problem admitting that I can't afford something, bro. That's the one thing I need y'all to understand. And I'm a nigga that can afford to pay $50 to go into the motherfucking club, clearly. Y'all got to understand, I went to Vegas that weekend, I booked a flight, paid for a room, went to the clubs, I went to clubs three nights there, I went to a, two pool parties there, nigga. All that shit was paid for cash, my nigga, facts. We went to the motherfucking Young Jeezy show. Ended the end up with the squad. Niggas had a table there. Went to the motherfucking uh, Rick Ross pool party. Had a motherfucking cabana there. You know what I'm saying? Did I pay most of it? Nah, I ain't gonna cap. I didn't. I was with some rich niggas. You know what I'm saying? I did pay my little feet though. You know what I'm saying? Like a real nigga posed to. Uh, we ate good. Smoked good. You know what I'm saying? Nigga was clean, did a little bit of shopping out there, got some player-ass threads, you know what I'm talking about? Came through, new jacket on them, you know what I'm saying, for the nighttime, different things of that nature. Uh, you seen in the video, I had both my chains. This man, Bro, nigga not fucked up out here, bro. I ain't got to prove myself to niggas. But it is what, I know how y'all internet niggas is. But like I said, it wasn't about the money. It was about the principle of the shit, man. They said $30, $20 all night. I explained that. $50 for the Uber shit, whatever. I'm hearing they do that in Vegas. I don't know for sure, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, say $20 all night. The issue y'all had was I said I went at 3 in the morning. If you go to a club, my nigga, if it say $20 free all night, the club going to open by 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. $20 free, I mean $20 all night means it's $20 until the club closes, my nigga. So that means all the way until Friday morning when the club closes, $20. When y'all niggas was saying that, y'all let me know that y'all don't get out the house, my nigga. Y'all niggas be on y'all phones typing or on y'all fucking MacBooks watching porn and typing all day or on Fortnite or some shit like that. I get outside, my nigga. Any nigga look at this channel and y'all see all these interviews I've been doing outside. I was in Vegas. I don't live in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see me out, nigga. I'm all over H Town. I'm all over here, all over there, all over everywhere, dog. So I get outside. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas don't get outside clearly. Y'all clearly don't live the nightlife because y'all would understand what $20 all night mean, nigga. $20 all night mean motherfucking till Friday morning when the club closed. And then, if it was a motherfucking time issue that I got there, they would have said that. That's not what they said. So I had to come address that. There ain't no hate on Floyd Mayweather. I know he ain't got nothing to do with this on the club. I'm just speaking that girl collection he is, so he got to own that motherfucker. But I still respect Floyd. That nigga still balling. Still the greatest boxer ever. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't, if you don't believe that nigga, you're really kind of hating. Just being honest with you. I'm still supporting. You know what I'm saying? Anything got to do with boxing with Floyd Mayweather. I'm just saying the strip club was a little light. I was a little bit like, hey, come to H time, nigga. Matter of fact, this is what I want the Floyd fans to do, nigga. All y'all niggas that was mad in them comments, uh, y'all tell Floyd if he want to open up TMT and H time, I show that nigga how to run it. I show that nigga how to run the one in Vegas too. But I got strip club experience, bro. I've been going to strip club I was 16 years old. So I was a little nigga since high school, bro. I know what needs to be done. I know what don't need to be done. I know what rules need to be put in place and don't be put in place. And it ain't even got to be no hood shit because I got experience. Hey, nigga, I was a strip club guru, guru in 2012. I went to every – I used to Google strip clubs in each time, nigga. We got over 100 strip clubs out here. Google it if you think I'm lying. I done hit damn near all the motherfuckers that got a name – from the white spots, the Mexican spots, the black spots, the hood spots, the hole in the wall. I think I'm talking about back to Ice Cream Castle and, and Harlem Nights when that bitch was first jumping, world recognized Harlem Nights. So motherfucking Onyx, motherfucking Dreams, motherfucking Vila. I done been in all the motherfucking spots, nigga. From where they got the white people there with the old white men and the phantoms and the shit. All that I've been to all this. I know how to run them hoes. 
Tell them get at me and I'll show these niggas how to run a strip club. Earn Politician TV. Subscribe to the channel. Got more videos coming, man. Follow my Instagrams at Urban Politicians TV. That's one of them. And the other one, my personal is at Urban Politicians underscore Big Ant, man. 1,000. Most shit coming.